Hey you guys, before I got into the video, I just wanted to talk briefly about my new ebook, Zodiac Signs Sex Language. Whether you're looking to improve your sex life and your dating life, or if you're just looking to expand your knowledge about astrology, this is definitely the right book for you. This book is meant to help you improve your sex life, your, your dating life, and your love life, your relationships, and to spice it up in the bedroom if need be, um, or to just once again, you know, help you learn more about astrology. So if you're interested in any of these things, if you're interested in learning in learning about the different love languages and the different sex languages of the zodiac signs, definitely look into getting this book, Zodiac Signs Sex Language, written by me, edited by me, and designed by me, Lamar Townsend. So you can purchase this uh, ebook on my website, lamartownsendtarot.com, or you can purchase it on Amazon, on the Amazon Kindle ebook store, all right, or just amazon.com. All right, into the video we go. Thank you for listening and watching. How growing up without a father affected my life? Well, first of all, I knew my father. I loved my father. And my father died when I was 18 years old. Fresh out of high school. I was at the mall when I got the call. Um, of all places, with my friends shopping. You know, it was senior year of high school, so you're excited. You know, everyone's like getting college accepted college acceptance letters and everything like that you know and I'm I think I was in like Nordstrom's or something or you know Macy's or Bloomingdale's or something like that and um my uncle called me and I could tell by the sound of his voice that something was off you know so I was just like oh what's wrong like you know what I'm saying like what's up like you know just just tell me what's wrong and he was like man they told me your dad died I will never ever my face drop you know what I'm saying? I'll never forget that. And that that moment, that day, my life completely changed. So, um, but, you know, prior to my dad actually leaving my life physically, um, there was a period where it was like he wasn't in my life at all. You know, um, and now my dad was always in my life, even when he wasn't in my life. <laughs> um but because of some choices that he made, he rendered himself unable to actually physically be in my life. Um, and he rendered himself, um, you know, kind of messing up and wrecking his future in a way. But when I was young, um, you know, my father was heavily in my life, um, you know, prior to him messing up his life, you know, and, you know, ending up in, in a predicament where you know um you know uh i don't know how to say it without saying it but it, it ended up in a predicament where you know it's not cool visiting your dad behind glass you know what i'm saying um but nonetheless even, you know, when that, when we had that period, you know, um, he, we still kept in contact, you know, but, um, one thing that my dad taught me was, um, when I was young, uh, when, uh, he was still physically in my life, you know, um, and not cooped up behind glass, uh, was he was a good businessman he owned his own barber shop and uh, one thing i remember i really really enjoyed doing and this was in the, like the late 90s like the maybe like the like mid late 90s you know i remember 702 was popping where my girls at from the front to back with, uh, nah. that was my joint and i think maybe like Aaliyah's are you that somebody was out <laughs> somebody somebody like i remember when that video came out that was like ev that everyone went off like that video was lit back then but yeah um i just remember liking to spend a lot of time at that barber shop and i remember it was cool being the owner's um son i kind of got to do whatever i wanted you know i remember like watching zoom on tv and it was like a run out a whole bunch of like hood dudes i'm like you know, sensitive libra here libra moon um, but I, like, learned a lot, you know, I learned a lot about business, I learned about, a, a lot about being a businessman, just being around my dad and his business, and 
even when he was, you know, behind glass, like, he still kind of, you know, kept me on my toes and was like, okay, so we're going to do this, you know, to get you some money, we're going to do this, you know, we're going to create this business, like, you know, so, you know, my dad was always influencing my life, and in, in, in my life in some way, even when he wasn't physically in my life, but he wasn't in my life, say, like a, a normal dad, like, you know, like a dad who actually lives with you, you know, um, a dad who maybe has his own place, you know, if you have divorced parents or parents that weren't together, because my parents were never together, like, you know, like in a committed relationship or like married or anything like that. Um, you know, but like, you know, like someone, like a dad who's stable, a dad who like has their stuff together, like, you know, who's in their life, their child's life, you know, who, you know, is, is picking them up, you know, to go on play dates or picking them up to, you know, spend, spend the weekend at their house or something, you know, like that's actively in their life. Um, it didn't feel like that for me, you know, like I spent a lot of time, you know, being raised by my mom, a lot of time being raised by my aunts and my grandmothers, so, and my uncles, you know, um, never really felt like, you know, even when the moments where my dad was there, never really felt like he was there, you know, um, so I'm blessed and I'm grateful to experience the, the, uh, a blessing of actually having a father and having a father in my life, you know, knowing what it's like to have a father that loves you and cares about you, um, knowing what it's like to, to have a father that's successful in his own right, and, and, um, my father was, like, a legend, like, you know, um, I was talking to my brother about it a couple, like, a couple weeks ago, and he was like, you know, we didn't have a normal dad, like, you know, everyone knew our dad, like, you know, like, people, like, all over the, like, the, like, not just here where we live, like, like, in New York, like, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, like, all over the world, like, people knew him, it's, I was like, dang, you're right, you know what I'm saying, you're right, so, just being around that energy and coming from that energy, like, I, I'm blessed, like, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, I, you know, the time I got to spend with my father, the lessons I learned from my father, good and bad, the fights I had with him, you know, um, I wouldn't take it back because it made me who I am, but man, you know, at age 18 to lose your dad, now, you know, I can't, you know, I, like I said, I'm blessed, you know, I, uh, you know, while I, he's not here physically, you know, I definitely still feel his energy around me, um, I know there are people out there who don't, who never knew their father, who don't know their father, who still don't know their father, who still don't have a connection or a relationship with their father. So I get that too. I get that same energy and I still at the same time can connect with and have moments, I have to be honest, of being a little bit jealous of, of people who, who have as w also a connection with their father, who have a loving connection with their father or who just have a connection with their father overall. You know what I'm saying? Um, I also have a connection with people who don't like their father, who, who hate their father. Cause at one time I, I didn't like my father. I hated my father, but it's weird. I have one memory I have of my father is I remember when I was a kid and I lived with my mom. So I was a kid and I was, I guess I was having like a really weird bad dream and I was like moving a lot and shaking and I woke up and my dad was like on my bed and he was looking at me like, what's, what's wrong with you? Like, why are you like shaking like that? You good? What? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, were you having a bad dream, a nightmare? Like, w w what's up? Like, and it was so like, you know, weird, like, cause it was just, it was one memory that I was just like, oh, like, you know, my father, like, you know, because I, I never woke up and had him, like, just kind of sitting there in my face, so, man, like, you know, I, I really miss my dad, but, um, anyways, like I was saying, I kind of resonate with all energies, you know, of people who love their father, who, you know, um, who have issues with their father, who never kind of knew their father who never knew their father never felt like they had a relationship with their father or felt like they, their father wasn't in their life or their father wasn't in their life so I can only speak from my experience you know um that's kind of why I'm giving you the precursor to everything you know that this has been my experience um now maybe I am uh a bit biased or a bit uh I don't know, maybe I'm a bit biased or not, um, as, uh, I don't know the word, not as, 
maybe legitimate, although I don't like that word, because I had my father in my life for a period of time. But you have to realize that age 18, that's still young. That's still, oh, I'm still learning. I'm still, I don't even know who, who I want to be, what I want to be when I grow up. I'm still getting college acceptance letter. I had to, like, I took it uh, a year away from college because I was just like, man. But losing my dad at that young age, you know, and, and now being 26, uh, Honey, I learned a lot, you know, I learned a lot with not having my dad in my life, not having that ear in my life, like, son, serious, you know, uh, really, you're doing that, you're doing what, you did what, what happened, are you serious, like, not having that in my ear physically, like, you know, so it's definitely, not having him in my life has definitely affected me in positive and negative ways, um, because one thing I have to say is, my father was very, I come from a very religious family, okay, so one thing that we constantly bickered and fought with was my sexuality. I'm gay. Um, now, prior to my dad dying, he died in 2010, um, I had not come out yet. I didn't come out until, I think, sophomore year of college, so that was like, I would think like um, 2011, 2012. So I never actually got to come out or come out to him, you know, physically, although I'm sure he knows now and I'm sure he always knew, but that's something we constantly bickered and fought with. So it wasn't until, you know, kind of, I felt the burden of that lift, you know, um, of having to, to be a certain way to please him. Cause I remember I'm a Libra moon, so I always want to please my dad. You know, I remember being a kid wanting to please him, you know, wanting just to please everyone. It wasn't until after the fact, you know that he transitioned, that I learned the less, that lesson of, of, of being a people pleaser, of, wow, this whole time I just wanted to please my dad, this whole time I just wanted to make everyone happy, make everything okay, you know, because he didn't want me to be gay, but th this is who I am, you know what I'm saying, um, I, I'm gay, you know, that that's who I am, that's who I've always been, and it's something I've, we've always bickered about, um, even in the past, even when I was a child. He, like, used to beat me, you know, for being, like, playing in, like, makeup and stuff like that. So, you know, when I was a kid. So that's one positive, I guess, of the situation, if there is a positive, you know. I mean, I miss my dad, you know. I would love to have him here, you know. Um, and I'm sure by now or, or sometime soon, you know, he'd be behind that glass and actually in, in our life, in my life back in the real world, you know, but things happen the way they happen, lessons learned, things happen the way they're supposed to, and that's something I also had to learn with my father not being in my life, there's a reason, everything ha everything happens for a reason, now one thing that it did make me was it made me stronger, it made me more self-reliant, it made me more independent and more reliant on myself, more dependent on myself, you know, okay, I don't have a, a role model, I don't have a, a, a fatherly guide now uh, in the physical to guide me, to, to kind of uh, nurture nurture me, to, to, to toughen me up, he used to always say, toughen up, toughen up, chump, um, and he used to always say that, you know, I don't have that now, so I have to be that for myself. Now, I always feel him near me. I always, I uh, even sometimes I will hear in my ear, toughen up, chump. You know what I'm saying? I sometimes hear him speaking to me. But I've had to learn in the physical that I have to be a father for myself. There's so many other people out here who don't have a father, and they have to be a father for themselves. You know, um, so I had to learn what, what, what a father truly is. I mean, I had to find father figures and father energy in other people, you know? And I don't, I, now, the thing is, is I don't rely on that energy. I don't need that energy. It feels nice. It feels warm to, to feel that every now and then, to feel that father energy in the physical. So I do have people in my life that do fulfill that in a way. I don't tell them that, of course. <laughs> Some of them know. Like, family members know, you know, that that's the role that they play for me in a way. Like, my uncles know. Um, you know, certain, certain friends know because they're older than me, like, okay, I gotta, I gotta, you know, pull you up to speed, you nephew, I gotta, you know, I gotta get you together, you know what I'm saying, I gotta, you know, you know what I'm saying, toughen up, you know, but you know what I'm saying, you know, like, I have those friends, I have those people in my life, um, even people who are my age and younger, like, you know, um, fatherly energy, like, I like that, 
but I don't rely on it. You know, I, I, I know how to be a father for myself. I know how to be a role model. I know how to guide my own self now. <clears throat> when I was 18, no. When I was 20, no. I had to, it took me a while to get here, all right? Like, a lot of lessons I had to learn. All right. Now, would I have to had learn those lessons if I had my father in my life? Maybe, maybe not. Everything happens for a reason, though. And I've learned, once again, I've learned that. I've learned to trust the process, right? And I've learned that, in my case, you know, I've gained an angel. You know, um, like I said, I was lucky and blessed enough to know my father. One thing I can say for people who maybe don't know their father is is the importance of learning to find father figures the imp importance of learning to um uh, find father I energy you know um a good role models good good male role models is really important um and i find those all over you know um you know and 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 if you can't find them in your physical life, finding them, you know, on the internet, you know, finding them on TV, you know, um, finding them in your friends, surrounding yourself with that energy. You know, um, I see my father in so many of my friends and I'm just like, wow, this, my dad had to prob, I feel like my dad brought this person in my life for a reason. So, you know what I'm saying? But my situation is different. My situation may be different from, from your situation. This is how I deal with my situation. Um... And it's something I always mourn, you know, it's something I always constantly have to deal with. Of course, as time goes on, it gets better, but um, I'm always going to mourn not having my father in my life, all right? So accepting that as well is something that's important too. Um, and honoring that, that pain in yourself it will allow you to heal and will allow you to heal other people. Case in point, me doing this video, I can tell you right now, two years ago, a year ago from now, uh, I, I would not have been able to do this video, but I can tell just, just by, for me being able to do this video and talk for 15 minutes about it with not, without crying or without tearing up or without my, my lip trembling, although my lip did tremble a few times in this video, I think, that's shown that I've matured, that's shown that I've grown, that's shown that I've uh, healed in some way, that I've, you know, facilitated and have, you know, um, succeeded in some way in my healing process so that's what i wish for you and i'm also wishing for you nothing but the best love health lots of success if you would like a personal tarot reading from me or a birth chart reading check that out for me on my website lamartownsandtarot.com also check out my ebook zodiac signs sex language where you can learn more about the psychology of the zodiac signs each of the 12 zodiac signs and how each of them individually approach dating sex and love available on amazon and amazon kindle for 9.99 and on my website Lamar townsandtarot.com. Thank you for listening and watching. Wishing you healing, love, and light. Namaste. See you in the next video. And of course, subscribe. Hey guys, thank you for listening and watching. Please hit the like button. Share with your friends and your family. And also, please subscribe, of course. And if you're interested in my ebook, check out my ebook. Purchase it on my website or on Amazon. I would also love it if you would follow me on my social media, Facebook and Instagram. Until next time, thank you guys for listening and watching, and I'll catch you in the next video, alright?